In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find the square root of numbers without using calculator. But it is very important to know your perfect squares between 1 and 81. You can see them here. We have 1 squared, which is the same thing as 1 times 1, equals 1. After 9 squared, which is the same thing as 9 times 9, equals 81. We have four problems here. We want to find their corresponding square roots. Let's begin with the first one. The first one, we want to find the square root of 676. The first number we need to find is the last digit of the square root of this number. But we have to equally consider the last digit here, which is 6. We are going to locate a perfect squared number here that ends with 6. You can see we have one here. And we have another one here. And their corresponding square roots are 4 and 6 respectively. Therefore, the last digit of this square root will either be 4 or 6. But we need to find out. Secondly, we want to now find the first digit of this square root. By striking out the last two digits, and considering only the first digit here, which is 6. Now we want to locate this 6 under here. A number exactly equal to 6, or a number which is very close to 6. 1 is less than 6, 4 is also less than 6, but 9 is greater than 6, and therefore we are going to consider 4. And the square root of 4 is 2. So our first digit is 2. And our answer will either be 24, or 26. How can we find out the actual digit here? To find that, we need to multiply this 2 with a number which is immediately after it, which is 3, and we have 6. Next, we are going to relate this 6 and this first digit 6. If this digit here is less than this number 6, we are going to take the smaller one, which is 4. But if it is greater or equal to this 6, we take the bigger number here, which is 6. Since it is equal to, we now take 6. And our answer is 26. Let us move on to the next one. We want to find the square root of 529. As always, we are going to find the last digit by considering the last digit here as well, which is 9. Locate a perfect square number here that ends with 9. We have one here, and we have the other one here, and their corresponding square roots are 3 and 7, respectively. So our last digit will either be 3 or 7. We want to now find the first digit by ignoring the last two digits and considering only the first digit, which is 5. Now we are going to locate this 5 under this perfect squares. If it is available, we take it. If it is not, we take a number which is very close to it. 9 is greater, therefore we are going to consider 4, and square root of 4 is 2. So our first digit is 2, and our answer will either be 23 or 27. To find out, as always, take this 2, multiply it with the next number, which is 3, and we shall obtain 6. Now we're going to relate this and the first digit here. If 5 is greater than 6, we take 7. If it is less than 6, we take 3. But since it is less than 6, we're going to consider 3. And our final answer is 23. Let us move on to uh, the second to the last question. We want to find the square root of 1,444. As always, we want to find the last digit by considering the last digit here, which is 4. We're going to locate a perfect square number here that ends with 4. We have one here, and we have the other one here. Their corresponding square roots are 2 and 8. Therefore, our last digit will either be 2 or 8. Next, we want to find the first digit by ignoring the last two digits and considering the first two, which is 14. We are going to locate that 14 here, 
or a number which is very close to 14 in ascending order. 16 is greater than 14, and hence we are going to consider 9, and the square root of 9 is 3, and our first digit is 3, and our answer will either be 32 or 38. To find out, let us multiply this 3 by a number next to it, which is 4, and this is equal to 12. Now let us relate this 12 and this 14. 14 is greater than 12, and therefore we are going to consider 8, and our answer is 38. Let us take the last one. We want to find the square root of 6,561. As always, let us find the last digit by considering this last digit here, which is 1. Locate a perfect square number here that ends with 1. We have 1 here, and we have the other one here. Their corresponding square roots are 1 and 9. So our last digit will either be 1 or 9. Let us find the first digit. Ignore the last two. Take the first two, 65. Locate 65 here. We have 81 greater than 65. 64 is less than uh, 65, but it is very close to 65, and therefore we are going to consider this. And its square root is 8. So our first digit is 8. And our answer will either be 81 or 89. To find out, let us multiply this 8 by a number next to it, which is 9, and we shall obtain 72. Now relate this 72 and this 65. 65 is less than 72. And therefore, we are going to consider the smaller number here, which is 1. And our final answer is 81. This is exactly how to find the square root of numbers, if at all those numbers are perfect square numbers. This is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos.